These cactus are about to bloom. They're night blooming Saris. There's actually two Saris here. It's another blossom right there. And they look like nothing, except for they look like twigs <laughs> the rest of the year. And then they will just put off a show and bloom in the night, one night, and be done until next year. All kinds of native bees on the sunflower tonight, including a tarantula wasp. Oh, a couple, a couple tarantula wasps sitting on, on it. A little breeze. So the video just before was from last night and here we are this morning and my girls, my honeybees are finding them and they are just so happy. I absolutely love night blooming Saracis. It's pretty early yet. We'll see what happens when word gets back to the hives. I bet there'll be a lot more bees here in just a little bit. In fact, it's practically happening before our very eyes. Look at, <laughs> so cool. Huh. That's a lot of bugs, but we got a nice rain yesterday <laughs> and with the bugs, it's registering just under two tenths. Oh, so gotta, gotta subtract bugs. Hmm. How shall I calculate that? Hey, kitty kitty, what you doing this morning? Oh, you squirrely. Kitty kitty, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, look at you. Oh, you're in a mood. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get attacked. Attacked by a black cat. You gonna get me, huh, Onyx? Huh, Onyx, you gonna get me, buddy? Dan said he already fed. Dan already fed. You wanting an egg, huh? You want your morning breakfast? You do. You want your morning egg? Look at you, crazy kitty. All right. Well, come in the house and you'll get one. Come on, oh, squirrel. Come on, squirrel. Check this out. This is literally five minutes later. <laughs> wow. I told you word would get out. I'm going to check. We have a third night blooming Ceres on the property. This one is not near irrigation. Oh, the blossom is not as pretty as the ones that get watered, but she is still alive and blooming this morning. So, but the bees haven't found her. Hmm. Boy, they really like that others. So we have a total of four blossoms for the year of 2021. 
Oh, not many bees on the sunflower this morning. There's one girl hanging around. They're all working on the night blooming cirrus. There's the sunrise. So beautiful this time of morning. All right, I better get to work. These girls are putting me to shame. They got all kinds of nectar and pollen going in. This morning, this little flower right in the middle. Oh, see, the bees are like, get away. This little one in the middle seems to be their favorite. This is a pan of wax from the solar wax melter from yesterday. I gotta go check it again this morning. Okay, let's see. Oh, not quite. I think it can go a little bit longer. It's not full, it's about half. This one can wait a little bit now around 130. I'll restock it with a little bit more. Oh, I got them even working on the zucchini. Good girls. There's a couple of zucchinis there, but I noticed a bird is pecking on one of them. And one of them doesn't look like it got pollinated correctly. I don't know why that is. Got plenty of bees out here. Yeah, I've got lots of bees, but these, this uh, gray zucchini also not looking too hot. What's wrong with you guys? I wonder if they need some fertilizer. The yellow squash looks pretty nice. Got another blossom blooming there. And there's my little pollinator. Everybody should be doing good. Got we got, uh, got that little bit of rain and everything's like really, really happy. Although, uh, I don't know what's going on in this one section here. I've got peppers that have turned yellow and over here, these peppers look fine. I have no idea what's going on over here. Another happy yellow squash. And there's my workers. Good girls. But then, <laughs> there's one over there. Doesn't look like it got pollinated correctly. What are y'all doing? Oh, this is, I was talking about my weeds the other day. This is one of my weeds. The aster blooming and the bees actually work that. So I don't take any of those so-called weeds out of my garden. <sighs> Well, we'll see if we get some more yellow squash or not. I might just start picking them when they're really young, you know, picking them at least this big before they start to do their rot. And then I'd at least have something to show for my efforts. I'm waiting, just waiting patiently. I moved this over here because as you can see, it was getting a little burnt from the sun. Um, and when moved it, it's sending up some more shoots. I think this is, Borage. I'm not 100% sure, but this is called, uh, it's probably just the color of it, but it was listed under Baker's Creek as Navajo Sunset. So I will see, I'm hoping that blooms pretty soon. Oh, look at the little spider. It's so fun to see all the life. <laughs> yes, Onyx, all the life inside the garden. Not just our honeybees, but lots and lots of other things.